busy Sunday mornings hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, playing right beside me. I don't mind when it's just us two. The corner coffee shop we like to go. Late night walks with you to take me home. With you, I never feel alone. These little songs. Make me glad to call you mine, and you have got my head. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. It is officially the 1st of April today. I'm going to be filming today in two sections, but I'm actually going to split today into two videos. One of which is going to be a vlog. I do also want to go and take a little trip about half an hour away or so and have a look in number one hobby craft because I think you would have seen in my last video there is like a bouquet that I'm absolutely desperate for and I think I found a store that has it so I'm kind of using it as an excuse to just go and have a look around anyway <laughs> and then conveniently there is also a home sense next door that I haven't been to for a little while the last time I did go was literally the best home sense haul I have ever found um i will link the video down below because honestly the things i found in there i just could not believe it i spent quite a lot <laughs> but it was just amazing so yeah that is going to be today's video something cozy a little bit of a vlog i'll take you along with me we'll see what we find james is out all day until probably late this evening so actually I've just got the house to myself, I've got the day to myself, so I'm going to make the most of it, have a bit of a reset day, have just a fun day, going out and exploring. Right, I have my tea. It is still very hot, so I can't drink it just yet, but I am pleased that I now have a cup of tea to enjoy this morning. Anyway, the reason I started filming this segment is because I wanted to share this catalogue that I've just had delivered from Neptune. I put this on my Instagram the other day actually. It turns out that quite a lot of people didn't realise that you could get your hands on the physical copy of this and Neptune will actually deliver it to you for free. I ordered this maybe two, three days ago max and it turned up at my door yesterday i think so literally within 48 hours it was through my post box and this is their spring summer directory 2023 it is absolutely beautiful i did want to order it obviously to have a flick through and to have a look at everything that they've got new look at their cushions i'm absolutely obsessed with neptune pieces they are not cheap by any means but I absolutely love the Neptune style and you'll kind of see that a lot of the decor within my home sort of looks similar to a Neptune vibe as well. But I also wanted it because it is absolutely gorgeous and makes such a nice book, especially for spring summer because the colours are gorgeous. So actually I've got this popped on top of my other coffee table book like this. And yeah, I've just got it popped on the coffee table. They've got all their baskets, all their throws their cushions I am just absolutely in love with. The only thing is like, literally look at this cushion, 116 pounds, which honestly, I just think is way too much. And I know that there are quite a lot of brands that actually purchase, sorry, my hair is kind of in a mind of its own today. It looks like I haven't even brushed it. Um, I know that there are quite a lot of brands out there that, kind of buy the Neptune fabrics and then make the cushions themselves sort of one-sided rather than double-sided. So I think when we move, I'm going to get my hands on a couple of those because I love the Neptune fabric and it is genuine Neptune fabric, but I don't really want to pay £116 for a cushion. So yeah, they've got all of their vases in here as well, which I'm also obsessed with. I really like these vases. They're called the Thursfield vase and the medium one it's £55, if you can see it here, and I really like it. I've been tempted by that vase for a long time. I also really like the Haybrook vases. I don't know how well you can see, but it's kind of like a rustic white kind of vase. 
and I really like that one as well. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And the ornaments they've got in here as well. To be fair, most of these ornaments, oh, they call them sculptures, but most of these I do already have. Well, some of these. I've obviously got my Neptune Wren. I've got one of the artichokes as well, which I absolutely love. I think I've got the small one, which is £38. Um, but you can also get a really nice seahorse. You can get the Hickstead horse, which I'm really tempted by. I think once I've got some shelves going on in the new house, I'm going to invest in one of those. So yeah, if you do want to get your hands on one of these, you can literally go to the homepage of the Neptune website and then scroll all the way down. I think I did it on my phone and there'll be a bit right at the bottom that says brochures or something. And when you click on that, it will give you the option to download or print it. But then there will also be a section where you can fill out a form and tick the books that you want and then fill out your address and they will deliver it to you. OK, I've just had a look on the Hobbycraft website. I'm going to try not to get my feet in this shot, even though I have just had my nails done and they are matching my <laughs> purple nails. But yeah, I just had a look on the Hobbycraft website and it looks like the bouquet is in stock in the store that I want to go and have a look in. So I'm going to head out now. The rain is supposed to stop in the next hour and then it's just supposed to be cloudy. So hopefully it won't rain on me too much. I feel like I need to wash my hair again. When I have it down, like the day after it's been washed, it just seems to have a complete mind of its own and it's just so messy <laughs> it's driving me insane i'm gonna head out now and hopefully i can get my hands on it and then i can show you there's actually two different color like variants that i'm gonna have a look at i almost want to bring the pot with me but i feel like that's a bit weird if i do that but i have a very clear like image of the color of it in my head and i also have a picture of it so we should be fine so i'm absolutely living <laughs> in this jacket at the moment i don't know how well it matches the gray but i'm just gonna go with it and then i'm gonna pop on my comfy chile on top because it is raining but only a little and go from there let's go and you have got my head in the clouds this is the bargain hurricane vase that i spotted quite a while ago that i got actually to put my neptune candle in and it's only three pounds definitely a good bargain and it is a big version as well which is six pounds guys i actually can't believe how many beautiful artificial flowers Hobbycraft have right now. I actually picked up quite a few different bits, so once I'm home I'll show you, but oh my goodness, they have so much. I've actually just parked up at HomeSense and I've realised there's actually a DFS really close by and if you can see... There's also a Sophology. So actually, I'm gonna have a quick look in both of those places, just in case I spot something that is similar or better to the sofas that we found in Marks and Spencers last week. Just in case, just while I'm here, and yeah, we'll see what we find. Can you actually believe Hobbycraft, no, not Hobbycraft, HomeSense was not a success I actually did not buy a single thing, believe it or not. <laughs> I was pretty gutted. I was walking around and there were like a couple of things that I picked up, but I just wasn't really that excited about them and they weren't like super, super cheap. They weren't kind of bargains. And I thought, do I really need them? No, probably not. So actually, surprisingly, I didn't buy anything. <laughs> I didn't buy anything. So once I'm home, I'll show you what I've picked up from Hobbycraft. But I've just very quickly stopped at like a Sainsbury's because I'm absolutely starving. It's almost one o'clock, but I'm absolutely starving. So I'm just gonna grab some lunch. I really fancy some sushi. I don't know why, but I just do. So I'm gonna see if they've got some food. There is actually a B&M next door, but 
it wasn't that long ago since I went and it's probably going to be really busy so I don't think I'll go in there but yeah I'll have a quick mooch around Sainsbury's grab some lunch shove some food down and then yeah we will head home oh my gosh coming out anywhere on a Saturday makes me realize just how busy everything is now I got some sushi but what I didn't get was a fork <laughs> I may have got that slightly wrong I went quite plain actually I went for the salmon one it's just like a little small a little small tray I really hope it's nice it was like the proper what do you call it Gour sushi gourmet so hopefully it's nice it's not the best salmon I've ever tasted in the world but the rest of it is really yummy. I actually did almost, almost get a Starbucks because there is a Starbucks inside that Sainsbury's. And I was very tempted, but then I saw the queue and then I was like, do you know what, Lindsay, you really don't need it because it's gonna cost you about four pounds and you do have a chai latte at home. And if you're gonna get a Starbucks, you're gonna end up having a chai latte. I actually did pick up one very tiny thing I spotted these napkins and I thought they were really sweet. They're my favourite colour. They're like a really pretty sage green. And I do still have some napkins at home, but they're my like autumn ones. And I kind of just use these to give to people when they come round, when they have food with us, or even to be honest, if we have anything like pizza or something that typically you'd use like kitchen roll for, sometimes it's just nice to have a pretty little napkin I think they were like two pounds so yeah I picked up some of those but otherwise that was about it okay I am home I am very excited to show you these honestly like I know I said in the car but as soon as I walked into the door of Hobbycraft there were just artificial flowers everywhere I could have probably bought the majority of their artificial flowers but most importantly not only did they have the bouquet that i wanted they had tons of them they are definitely still in stock in a few stores well in stock even though they're not in stock online and you can actually get three different colors of this but yeah this is the bouquet that i was after that home with cat shared and as you would have seen if you saw her video there are so many stems in this bouquet. You can literally pull them apart and manipulate them in any way that you want. Um, Cause there are quite a lot of these flowers. So if you want to kind of move them around a little bit and reshape them, depending on how you want it to look in the pot, then you absolutely can do. My plan is to pop them in here. And I think it's gonna look absolutely lovely. Now, obviously they are too long, so we are going to need a bit of bending going on. Okay, a long time just passed. <laughs> I just spent ages and ages uh, basically separating all of them out of the bit of plastic that they were stuck into because I realised that no amount of bending was ever going to make them short enough for what I needed to get them into. So actually, I've now got them all individually. There is still wire, so I can still kind of bend it in the way that I need to. I'm hoping they're gonna to stay together and I can still kind of tie them and bunch them to get them to how I want them to be. Okay, that did take a little while, but I am now happy. We eventually got there. <laughs> I'm actually really glad that I separated all the stems because I've made some of them a little bit longer. I've made some of them a, like a little bit shorter so that they go into the side. And it's a really pretty kind of bouquet to have on even something like a coffee table. 
where you can just kind of put it down at this height and it doesn't really block your view if I spin you around. It doesn't really block your view from the TV. So moving on finally to the next bits that I got, I picked up three of these gorgeous cherry blossom stems that are tangled and I really liked these because again they're really easy to manipulate and spread out literally as wide as you want them. So I don't know exactly which vase I'm going to pop these in yet. I need to take the I need to take the tag off. But these can obviously go in something a little bit bigger and you can branch them out in any way that you want to and make a lovely little simple summer rearrangement. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to find somewhere to pop these as well. And then the last thing that I picked up was this pack of sword ferns. There's six in here and I think it was about £4.50 and they are kind of joined together. But actually, I'm going to use these as like bouquet fillers and pop them into bunches that I feel need a little bit of extra something because something like just a couple of these could make such a difference. I mean, this isn't a great example, but even just kind of popping a couple in there just gives it a bit more shape, gives it a bit more life. So, yeah, there's a couple of bouquets I have in mind that I will use these for. But otherwise, I think they're just really handy to have. <laughs> like I'm in the jungle. <laughs> otherwise, they're just really handy to have. Yeah as fillers to fill up gaps if you've got a vase that still has some space in. So this is my plan for now. I've actually popped this little arrangement onto the dining table. I might swap out my table runner for my lovely green fern one, but for now, I actually quite like the look of this. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And then, excuse my mess, literally everywhere. I'm thinking for this one, I don't know if I'm going to change the vase, but what I'm thinking is actually, just follow me upstairs, is to pop it here on this windowsill. I'm going to see what it looks like because I'm not sure if it will work, but I do want to have the blossom stems kind of nicely in view because I think they will look really pretty. And also, I think they'll look really nice in the light. See, the background isn't the best. There's literally a roof <laughs> behind them. But, oh, I love it. I love it. I don't know if I'll stick with the vase. I might change it. I don't know what I'll change it to, <laughs> but I might change it. But I think that looks so much better. Doesn't that add more colour? Just straight away, it just brightens that corner up. Oh, I absolutely love it. These were four pounds each, by the way. So the whole lot, so the fern bundle, the bouquet, and three of these stems was 20 pounds, which I think is actually really reasonable. Good morning. So I'm obviously looking a little bit different now. I, ha I fully intended to come home and crack on with some other bits around the house and chat away to you. But quite honestly, I was just quite tired and I got really distracted and actually some of my family came over for dinner as well which is very spontaneous and unexpected. We kind of just decided at the time because I had a bit of extra food and obviously James was out all day and then Ronnie came over, took Ronnie out for his evening walk and then we settled down in front of the TV on the sofa and I just didn't film <laughs> but that's okay so yeah it is now Sunday I have a few bits to do around the house today James has done a fair bit actually bless him I have some dusting that I want to do because I've neglected the dusting a little bit it is kind of the job that I feel gets quite forgotten about until you walk past something and you think oh my gosh that's quite dusty I probably need to dust that and then you think okay I'll dust it like later and then later becomes tomorrow and then tomorrow becomes like the next weekend and then things just stay dusty <laughs> so 
yeah, I'm going to get that done. And otherwise, we're just going to have a chill day today. We're heading out a bit later to watch the football. And you will probably get deja vu watching this because that is exactly what I said in Wednesday's video. Because I actually recorded Wednesday's video this morning. And now this afternoon, I'm going to carry on with this video. So yeah, apologies for kind of jumping between past and present a bit. But I was really keen to get Wednesday's video out and done as early as I could in April. Because obviously, it is a monthly roundup of March and talking through some of my favourites. I'm basically talking through some of my favourite products and favourite things that I discovered or got loads of use out of in March. So definitely go and give that a watch if you enjoy that kind of thing. I think I'm going to crack on with some house cleaning. Perfect timing. James just got home from doing the food shop and bought me some fresh daffodils, which was very nice of him. So I have added those to the coffee table to give it even more of a spring touch. And I've popped my other flowers just up in the window to get some sunlight. I don't think they're gonna last much longer anyway. Ooh. So yeah, excited for those to come out. I need to finish dusting. little trick that I use for our headboard well I don't know if it's a very well-known trick or not to be honest everyone might know about it but I actually use a lint roller just along the back of the headboard basically to get any extra dust that I might have missed which quite clearly <laughs> quite clearly I have but yeah I just find it quite an easy and quick way to get any dirt off which might have dropped down the back of the headboard. Where are we heading off to? Hey, where are we heading off to? We'll go for a little stroll. Going for a little stroll. Sit tight. Ronnie and I are currently enjoying a cup of tea in the garden because the sun has finally come out. Look at that sky. This obviously isn't our garden. We've actually just popped to my dad's house. Look at my 18th birthday mug. I have literally had this mug for so long and it just lives at my dad's house and I got it for my 18th birthday. So it's a good nearly seven years old now, if my maths is correct. Um, yeah, we weren't going to go out for dinner, but actually my brother and his girlfriend live here as well and they invited us over for a roast. So we are going to have a homemade roast here before we head home. And I'm making the most of sitting out in the sunshine because actually when the sun's out, it is really warm. So I'm going to enjoy this. Hey. He loves tea. You love tea. Yeah, you too.
we have just got home. The pyjamas are on and I'm feeling much more cosy. These are my absolute like number one favourite pyjamas from Amazon. They come in loads of different colours. I've got the white version, I've got the beige version and they are just the softest material. I absolutely love them. I'm actually a bit sad about the fact that the weather's getting warmer and I'm getting too hot in them. <laughs> so I need to find like a short sleeved version or a version that's got shorts rather than long trousers so that I can keep wearing them because I just absolutely love them. I think I will probably end the video here. We are now going to have a cosy night in. We're going to find something nice to watch on the TV and I actually need to finish editing a video as well that will be going out on Wednesday. You would have already seen it at this point but I film everything like a week in advance so at the moment I still need to edit it to go out on Wednesday. But yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video. Just spending some time with me, seeing what I get up to, getting some bits done around the house. And I will see you very soon. Good night.